In this video, let's make some laughing gas, N2O. Laughing gas was first discovered in 1772 by English scientist Joseph Priestley, but it was not until the late 1790s, so over 20 years later, that its psychotropic properties were discovered by a guy named Humphrey Davy. Along with its psychotropic properties, it was found that it could put people into a deep sleep, so it was first used in 1844 by a dentist, Horace Wells, as an anesthetic, and it's still used today. The easiest method to produce this is to take ammonium nitrate and heat it, which will produce simply nitrous or laughing gas in two waters. Really simple reaction. However, there's a big fear in doing this that you could get a runaway explosion because it's happened many, many times. The more controllable reaction is using sodium nitrite, NaNO2, and hydroxylamine hydrochlorate, NH3OHCl. In that reaction, you mix the two together, you get nitrous, N2O, and salt water, NaCl, and H2O, plus some heat as it's pretty exothermic. This is the method we'll be using, of course. So in our materials, we need some sodium nitrite. I wrote down 30 grams for both of these. It's going to be somewhere between 20 and 30 grams. Hydroxylamine, 30 grams, again, between 20 and 30 grams. However, because this is a one-to-one -one reaction, whatever I choose for one will be used for the next. We'll also need water, around 45 milliliters, times two for each one of these to be dissolved in. We'll need some ice, as it's exothermic, a separatory funnel and or an additional funnel. In my little representation here, I have a separatory funnel, but I have worked with this before. It's not the greatest. I may end up using an addition funnel. We'll need a flask with two necks, one to allow the sodium nitrate to drip down and the other one to gather the nitrous being produced. We'll need some tubing and some balloons to collect the nitrous. A quick note, nitrous is non-flammable, but it does support com combustion a lot like oxygen does, so it is used in car racing. Now to go over our methods, again, I'm showing a separatory funnel here, but I probably will end up using an addition funnel, a um, pressure uh, equalizing addition funnel. However, regardless, we're gonna have uh, our round bottom flask with our two necks here, and we'll have our hydroxylamine hydrochloride down here. Of course, it will be dissolved in water. We'll have our sodium nitrite solution up here also dissolved in water all of these seals will have to be done very well because we're dealing with the gas this will be sitting the um, hydroxylamine hydrochloride in some ice to start because again it's exothermic so as the sodium nitrite starts to drip in this will heat up quite a bit we'll also have a stir bar running just to make sure those two solutions are mixing well all the time a tube will be coming out here and filling up a balloon with our nitrous. I did put a catch here, so to speak, that will collect any fluid that might make it up and down. So it'll be collected in this bottle and not get pumped directly into the balloon. But we'll see how that goes. It is to catch any overflow, like I said. And I put here, actual setup may change because this is just a general idea I have. I've been working on it. We'll see how the final uh, result ends up. So let's be like this guy and go make some laughing gas. To make our nitrous, we're gonna need 30 grams of hydroxylamine hydrochloride and 30 grams of sodium nitrite that we made in a previous video. 30 grams of hydroxylamine hydrochloride pre-weighed. 30 grams of sodium nitrite pre-weighed. Adding 45 milliliters of distilled water to a 100 milliliter beaker. Adding the 30 grams of hydroxylamine hydrochloride to the 45 milliliters of distilled water. I'll be doing the same thing for the sodium nitrite, but I will not video it just to keep things shorter and not bored people. The two solutions are ready to go. You heard me mention that I tried a separatory funnel for this and I did it twice. It didn't really work all that great. So I have a 50 milliliter addition funnel here, which will have the sodium nitrite and that will drip down here into this 500 milliliter round bottom flask. Of course, there'll be ice around here and it will contain the hydroxylamine hydrochloride. And when the two mix, and the nitrous is formed, it will come up and around this tubing and into that pretty funky looking test tube there that I got from a kit. I don't remember which one, but uh, there's a balloon on the top there and it'll just fill that balloon up. If any liquids do get through, hopefully they'll just strip to the bottom of the test tube. I built this crazy contraption for this experiment, um, but part of this came from a previous experiment when I was mixing chlorine gas and acetylene and the explosions that occur with that. I was releasing the chlorine with this part right here. So I added this right here, which is just a rubber stopper. I have a balloon here that's been filled up with just simple air and a clamp that I hope to put um, also on the balloon with the nitrous. And essentially what happens is if I do this like so and put it
like so, okay? And then I close this up on this end. And then I remove the clamp, bear with me, and take it off of this completely. You can see the balloon is completely filled still, and I have the ability to release the air out of it by turning this right here, and you can hear this when it comes out. And then close it. So I'll be using this for the nitrous also so I can experiment with it. I just wanted to explain to you what was up and why this was being used at the time. Because of how this is set up, it's difficult to get in one shot. I don't have the room. But to the addition funnel, I'm adding the sodium nitrite. And this was made in an earlier video. This is 50 milliliters of 30 grams of sodium nitrite. And I'm going to put a little bit of the silicone uh, grease on here and place it on the top. And I'll be clamping it then with this. We need to keep this system closed well because we don't want any gases leaking out or we'll lose some of our product and it won't end up in that balloon. All right, I'm just snapping on the clip right now. Done. Next, I'll be adding the hydroxylamine solution here. And again, this is sealed really, really well. Place some ice around that uh, round bottom flask on the bottom there. And I'm going to slowly start to drip the sodium nitrite into the hydroxylamine solution, which of course will produce our nitrous. This is a pretty slow process I'm going to do. And you can see the balloon is starting to inflate there with the nitrous. It's dripping in maybe one drip every two seconds right now. I know it's really hard to see. All the sodium nitrate has now dripped in, and it will take a little bit for it all to react, so I'm going to just wait for that to happen. I'll be back when that uh, is completely reacted. It's nearing the end of the reaction. Looks like I got, I got about 500 milliliters of nitrous in that balloon there, and it's not getting a whole lot bigger. So not as much as I had hoped for, but it is nitrous, so I'm going to slowly turn this down. It's been spinning for about five minutes here. All right, I'm going to turn it off completely now and grab the balloon before anything happens. It took me a bit to wrestle this all together, so unfortunately I didn't get it on camera. However, I'm about to release the uh, clamp right now. You see we got about, what I'm guessing is about 500 milliliters of nitrous in there. Not a huge amount, but hey... We're going to continue the experiment here. So for the first experiment here, I'm going to put some uh, of this nitrous inside of this very small flask. And because it's nitrous, it is heavier than air. I'm going to then light the splint here. Blow it out. And you can clearly see how it lit right back up. The nitrous releases those oxygens and it starts this splint right back on fire. 
second experiment here, and I am running out of the gas uh, of nitrous here. There wasn't that much, but I'm going to just release it on this flame here, what's left. And again, those extra oxygens just help ignite the flame even more. I need knocks. Nice.